Only an hour. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor sublimity. Oh, that is a nice voice. Woo! Truly an awe-inspiring sight. the purpose of all temples to the god emperor to inspire awe and reverence for it is the duty of his servants to persevere in their tireless service until they are presented with the chance to give their very life for the master of humanity he sighs and <sighs> he sighs and turns to you allow me to introduce myself kunrad voitvir master of whispers in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius, at your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. Wotvir bows his head and focuses his attention on you. My name is Ko. My regards, master. Or should I say, von Valencius, scion of a blessed rogue trader house in the service of the Imperium. Perhaps this kinship came as a shock to you. Understandably so, given that all evidence of the connection was lost in the generations separating you and Lord Captain Theodora. It required no small effort on the part of a ladyship's servants to discover and verify this blood tie, which has now made you one of the heirs of this dynasty. Oh. All right. So basically this guy just showed up and was like, yo, turns out you're an heir to like this, you know, massive organization. Huh. That's, that's always good. Uh, let's see. Let me know how this is, chat. Lord Captain, a strange title for the Lady Theodora. You have a curious title, Master of Whispers. What are your responsibilities? To put it plainly, I am the head of the network of spies and informers who serve the interests of House von Valencius. I uncover weak links, both among Lady Theodora's retinue and in the ranks of her rivals. I eliminate our vulnerabilities and exploit those of others. Tell me about the one on whose ship I have found myself. I would rather not discuss the Lord Captain behind her back. Especially not on board her ship. No one knows better than I that whispers are wont to attract particularly close attention. <laughs> oh, suffice it to say that her ladyship is the bearer of the sacred warrant of trade and a woman of immense power and entitlement. However privileged your position may be, I ask that you do not incur her anger by being disrespectful or obtuse. Lady Theodora despises both qualities. Good to know. You say I am one of the rogue trader's heirs. Is there another candidate? There is. And you will meet him soon enough. Why am I here? So that you may fulfill your blood duty. Whatever obligations you had before, they are henceforth Null and void. By order of the Lord Captain, 
You have been requisitioned to serve the rogue trader, indeed blessed by the God Emperor. Your former position may have been different from conventional service as part of one of the institutions of the Imperium, but from now on, a different fate awaits you. One chosen for you by the Lord Captain. I advise you to come to terms with this reality as quickly as possible. Uh, that's a strange title for Lady Theodora. Such are the traditions of the Imperium. Lord Captain is the title that was established in the annals of the Lex Imperialis. At the time when the first rogue traitors entered the Gold Emperor's service, and therefore, it is sacrosanct. Your mom is sacrosanct. I assume you had some goal in mind when you decided to seek me out. Let us address it. But of course, I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. Okay. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrat von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. Cool. Move your character by clicking left mouse button. A symbol will appear and your character will move towards it. If the spot you chose is inaccessible, the symbol will appear. Okay, and then, okay, Wasp and Cutie. Great. By the way, we had some subs and stuff during the intro there. Thank you guys for hanging tight as I did that. Uh, Swiss Scent, one of our classic ones. Absolutely love it. Been loving your hunter questing during your Warcraft testing. Now we set our bars at higher places among the stars to smash some faces. Another game you'll soon be best in. I'm remaining comfy in my seat. <laughs> Here's from the poet of the beat. Thank you very much. I appreciate that specific for the 33 months. Love it, dude. We also have OG 70 months here for a lot more. Keep up the amazing job you're doing. Much love. Co-L and Co-Hug. Thank you, buddy. On goes to you, friendo. Appreciate Keep it. Keep your wits about you. Ooh. This is pretty. Some objects in the game can be interacted with in a special way. They are marked with specific icons. Some icons allow you to study objects. Others will transfer the character to neighboring locations or launch a small event. These icons become visible when your character is standing close enough to the interactive object. Click the mouse button on the icon to perform the action. Some door, some interactive objects such as doors or chests are not always marked with icons, but the cursor changes when you hover over them. Okay. Our first quick save. A massive conference table, uh, table, obviously crafted from real wood, a resource of incredible value on a void ship. If I see you raise your head again, I'll hand you over to the tech priest for servitorization. Oh man, he seems nice. Technomat. Lay people interfering in the operation of the sacred mechanisms disturbs the machine spirits. In the name of the Omnissiah. Refrain from any further profane acts. Wow. Oh man. Oh. Up there. Okay. And just see. Wait, what is this? Show the data on the vid screen. Whoa. The sacred mechanism has been interfered with without due reverence. The duration of the data processing cycle has tripled. Whoops. Incomprehensible information is displayed on a large screen above the cogitators. You can make out references to unfamiliar systems and worlds among the numbers and logistic card symbols. Dude, I'm already screwing up over here. Is there money to be made? Oh my god. I, I, I am breaking things. Okay. Ooh, that's a big book. Booth! Hey, Co, wanted to stop by from the tubes of you on this great day for the Empire. As always, thanks to the YouTube guy as I get to watch the game while I work. Also, this was a big year for me. Four years sober and I got married, thanks. Well, Booth, congrats, dude. That's awesome. Big congrats, my friend. Fantastic, dude. Somebody said, is there a text log? There is, and I'll pop it right there on the screen. 
are you doing? May his will strengthen my heart. May my humble deeds be for the benefit of humanity. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, this guy. Here we go. As you approach, something in the servitor's body begins to hum. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. I would. Yes, I would. What's happening? Run! The servitors have gone berserk! Okay. Two arms! Ugh. Ugh. To survive in the grim darkness of the far future, you will have to face enemies of all kinds and fight for your life. These hints and tutorials will familiarize you with the combat system of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Click the button at the top of the screen to start the battle. Okay. I didn't praise the machine spirit. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's my fault, chat. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, joint analysis? All battles in the in the game are turn based on a grid. Okay. Oh, there's the MP. Alright, cool. Moving diagonally is more costly. One MP corresponds to one cell. At the beginning of each turn, movement points are restored to their maximum value. Once a character starts moving, this action can no longer be canceled. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so I can shoot. That's what, a 50% chance to hit? Okay. I can, you serve me this guy. I'll make it happen. You serve me. Well, voice of command you too. I won't compromise my principles. Okay, nice. When you're ready to end your turn, press space. Okay. So wait, I, why, why can't I, um... Why can't I do this? Oh, maybe because he's not an ally. He's yellow instead of green. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. So when we fire... It looks like this is... So I need to move up, like, here. How do I move? I like the line that shows. Now, is that... That line is more red there. It's kind of yellow there. So do I need to be... I want to be where it's red. I'm Taking assuming. calculated risk is in my second nature. Now it's 85%. Okay. To attack, click on the single shot icon on the weapons panel at the bottom of the screen. Hover the cursor over an enemy. A tooltip will appear showing the chance of hitting that enemy and the possible damage you can do on a successful hit. The amount of damage your character deals depends on the parameters of the weapons you're using. The effectiveness of the shot depends on the distance between the character and the enemy. When you're targeting an enemy with a single shot, you will see two areas denoting the weapon's effectiveness and maximum fire ranges. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Put in abilities in the game, which is attack option. Okay, cool. Great. All right, here we go. Can I, can I, oh, I can look at him. So he put three stacks of exploit. Awesome. He's using a zero AP cost. How does it cost zero AP? Wait, what? Must be some kind of special thing. I don't know. Nice. Now, unfortunately, I can only fire once per round. So, might as well reload. And then end my turn. Oh, 
Oh god. Am I dead? <laughs> this man's gonna walk up and kill me? Oh, thank god. So I'm not sure what joint analysis is. What is that? Until the operatives next turn, their allies' attacks also remove exploits and deal more damage. Oh. So he's he's not even attacking. He's just like analyzing and buffing and stuff. On it. You never stood a chance. Here. I can scarcely believe. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and their heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. I love this dude's voice. Oh man. Spread out, no one is allowed to enter the premises. Stations. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. Oh, uh, King, that was, that was the Alpha only. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Is this game 100% voiced? No. Blind Rock, got it. You can open the map using M. Ooh, nice. Oh, and we can move the camera around on the map? I love it, I love it. Okay. Curb Camp, 62 months getting closer to the nice number, be warned. You now find yourself in a universe where being a nice person might get thousands killed. So in the name of the Emperor on his golden throne, I hope that you for once can take the hard stances and simply not shoot the heretic. To be fair, all heretics have to die. I think we're in relative agreement there. So, yeah. Slow down there, big guy. Um, can I loot these corpses? No. The wires in the servitor's head are still smoldering. It would seem the cause of this malfunction was a short-circuiting of the motive force. Tarantula sentry gun constructed by the blessings of the Adeptic Mechanicus using a standard template construct. I can just read it down here. Of the Manufactorums on Kiava Gamma. He remembers hard at work, bowing his head in fear and avoiding even looking at you. Chat, do you guys want me to be reading out all these text things or is that annoying? I'm happy to do it. Yeah. All right, I'm seeing, I'm seeing more yeses than Always no's. keep your eye keep on going the prize. Just, just let me know if you want me to change it. Layman Rust Battle Tank reclaimed and restored by the grace of the God Emperor, the first to breach the capital walls during the pacification of Vortis Chiton. Yes, please, I'm lurking at work. Okay, that's that's a good enough reason for me. If we got people just hanging out at work, okay, that's cool. If I see you raise your head again, I'll hand you over to the tech priest for servitory action stuff. The exhibit is unfinished. Another symbol of the House Van Valencius's valor will be displayed here at some point in the future. And yes, for the record, we are looking at all of these. A gray-green crystal with a white veins. A low hum can be heard coming from the artifact. A strange object that resembles sea coral. The porous surface is pitted, a sign that it has been underwater. Uh, Barry, no, it's okay. The stone on the pedestal is no doubt solid, but its surface shimmers and changes hue as if someone has captured a piece of the turbulent sea within the rock. A massive golden amalgam interspersed with sparkling... I particles. always have a backup plan. Black shard resembling obsidian. If you look closely, you can discern a strange, barely perceptible glow inside the artifact. A violet alloy upon closer examination turns out to be a handcrafted object. Symbols carved with a primitive tool are visible on the surface. They say, make us whole. All right, let's see. So we gotta go this way. Oh, wow, we can actually read that. Look at that. That's cool. Let us not dawdle.
I love just random epic music in the background. That's kind of great. Hey, Ko, thank you for creating such an amazing community. And on a side note, thanks for the Casper Baby Pants recommendation. My one-year-old loves it. 39 months from Cool XP. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you very much. And I still to this day love the fact that us older folks grew up with the presidents of the United States of America band. And now that we're all old and have kids, the lead singer of that band is making kid music as Casper Baby Pants. Phenomenal. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Yeah, what a world. Okay. The Grand Voidship Temple occupies the entire space below the officer's deck and is lit by countless candles and moons. Nice scene. Anyone who thinks following the crown's example will end up in solitary or like Quant himself, speaking of which his remains still need to be scrubbed from the bulkhead. You will take care of that when we are done. Understood! Hale, also poor Krant, my lord. Please. Keep your wits about you. The lifts carrying people around the decks move with a loud grinding noise. Is there money to be made? Oh, can't go that way. Man, I like how there's like no restrictions on where you move the camera. That's really cool. You can kind of look around the air. Damn, look at that thing. Okay, let's move that way. Please keep your eye on the price. Wow, he's fast. That warp jump was surprisingly uneventful. The one a couple cycles ago, now that was tough. The delirium took hold of so many, and the witch was up to her old tricks again. Have you heard? Apparently the lower decks got a big influx of new blood after the last on-world supply. If there's some pestilence spreading through the crew, is there some pestilence spreading through the crew? And that's why we had to make up a shortfall? Last time it was blue leprosy that culled our ranks. Oh, you know it's bad when they give leprosy a color. State of your uniform. What are you doing in the upper decks looking like I that? always have a backup plan. Sorry. Oh my god, her hair. Yes. That is simply irrational, Lady the Theodora, says a man dressed in peculiar garb, his voice tight with tension, his face, half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in a grimace of displeasure and disbelief. Assimilation to the trade structure would be political, political and economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. And suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation. No worse than my Seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do with Ion 6 Edelthrad? Survey the room. Your first impressions of Edelthrad, who appear to be about who appears to be about 30 years old, is of a parchment-like skin stretched over a tightly bundled mass of sinew, implants, and bone. The nervously twitching fingers, the face twisted by a slight tick, and the jerky movements of, are all signs of some illness or defect that has taken over his physical form. Ew. In stark contrast to Edelthrad, Theodore Van Valencius' features appear as if they were carved from marble, eternal and indestructible. Head raised high, proud posture, hands clasped casually behind her back. Everything seems to emphasize the difference in status between her and Edelthrad. Behind the two of them, you see two more men. One is a gray-haired officer of impeccable bearing who is studying the contents of his data slate. The other is a behemoth, bristling with holsters and baldrics containing all man manner of weapons. Our second candidate has joined us. The dry female voice and the powerful feeling of being watched force you to look at Theodora. 
The rogue trader is looking straight at you, and her gaze, like yourself, is predatory and oppressive. Co, approach me. Approach and give me your answer. Ooh. Your skills care. Your character skills reflect their knowledge and capabilities. Some dialogues automatically initiate a passive skill test. If such a test succeeds, new information will be revealed or a hidden dialogue option unlocked. If your character is traveling with allies, the party members with the highest score in the app. Applicable skill is selected for each given passive skill test. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Wow. I love it. All right. Consider this hypo hypothetical situation. Ion 6, a new world on the fringes of the Coronis Expanse. High seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, metamorphic rock deposits, and you just met her. <clears throat> Prospects for large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirit that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flight of fancy, you might say. But attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crews sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure? We can confirm with psychers what's going on. I can brush it off. The reports certainly sound like evidence of heresy, but I would put my interests first. No matter what means I would have to use, the riches of Ion would be mine. We must purge it. I'm going to go with the warp one. There are ways to confirm whether what is happening on Ion is witchcraft or not. It might cost several psychers to do so, but it will give us the answer. Thorough but presumptuous, it took me a great deal to find one Psyker who could serve me well for many years, yet you speak of several. Sanctioned Psykers are rare and valuable instrument of the Golden Throne, or do you co-suggest that we use heretics who are an offense to the God Emperor's light? It would be rather careless of you to utter such profanity in the presence of her faithful servants. I like how it says, Edelthrad looks at you with the warmth of a snake. Um. I gave a straight answer to a simple question, which, as I understand, was still more than you could do, Edelthrad. Color drains from Edelthrad's face, which distorts his features further. Insolent, ignorant upstart! How dare you! Edelthrad, I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me, then, why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot the time. Thank you. Edelthrad bows ceremoniously and takes his leave without sparing you another look. I'm kind of sad she's not voiced. I was I was interested to hear what, what kind of voice they would pick for her when I heard of her. Soko, why are you here? Was it not you who sent for me? She scoffs. You have seated the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all who toil in the Emperor's service. Immutable hierarchy, absolute obedience, lick spittery, lick spittlery, compulsion to please. I value none of these things. From the moment my envoys came for you, the terms of your existence changed. Dude, this writing is fantastic. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of Afscaris. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity. I know, dude, total missed opportunity to bring in Amelia for this. Oh my God. I feel like she would have relished this role. I can, I can, I'm, I'm like reading it in her voice in my head. And my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic, the warrant of trade kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers, wicked and heretical reign and bode death and ruin to us all. 